Hi there, my name is Valerie Madajemu and I'm a member of the Data Schools 30 cohort at the Information Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to apply standard deviation to a control chart. This will let you measure the distribution from the mean. So let's jump right into Tableau and get started. I'm going to show you two ways to build a standard deviation control chart. Using London Airbnb's data, I'm going to show the average price over time separated by room type. First, I am going to drag my date field into the columns. I'm going to right click and I'm going to drag. And I want this to be a continuous field and by month. I'm then going to right click on price. I'm going to drag it to the rows. And here I'm going to select the average of the price. And as I wanted this separated by the room type, I'm going to go back to the data pane, click on room type and add it to the rows. Next, I'm going to head to the analytics pane. I'm going to go down to the reference line and I'm going to drag this to the average price and do it per pane. And now we have an average line for each room type. Next, I'm going to go to the distribution band. I'm going to drag this to the pane and where it says value, I'm going to click on the drop down and go down to standard deviation, click this. And we have our standard deviation around the value one. So Tableau automatically calculated our upper and lower limit. So that's the first way. The second way is that we can use Tableau's integrated window average and window standard deviation functions. To do this, I'm going to need to create two calculated fields. I am going to first create a calculated field for the window average. So, so that's the window average. And then I'm going to put the average price within that field. Click OK. And then I'm going to create another calculated field for the Windows standard deviation. So what the Windows function means is just it's just calculating things in the view. So now we have those two calculations. What we want to do next is take the average line and subtract or add a certain number of standard deviations to calculate the upper and lower limits. So if I create a calculated field and I call it the upper limit, what we're going to do is take the Windows average plus the Windows standard deviation. And I'm going to click OK. I'm going to duplicate this field and we're going to simply use this field to create the lower limit. So the plus now becomes the minus. We now have the three fields we need to apply standard deviation to our chart. So I'm going to drag the lower limit onto the rows next to average price. And then I'm going to do a dual axis. I'm now going to add the upper limit. And I'm going to add the Windows average. And we're going to synchronize the axes. So that's the second way we calculate the standard deviation using the Windows average and Windows standard deviation function. And we can tell that they work because those lines aligned to the previous standard deviations we applied to this chart. With these elements here in the measure values, we just want to lock them in. So I'm going to edit table calculation, going to go to specific dimensions. Uh, this is so if we want to edit our graphs in every any way, they just make sure these calculations stay in place. For more information about that, I can provide a link below about table calculations overview by Andy Kriebel. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you now feel more confident in using standard deviation in Tableau. Please check the description of this video for links to additional materials that you might find useful. 
I provided a link to Alex Hurst's video where he shows how to make your control chart dynamic by changing the standard deviation value and also how to include color formatting. If you enjoyed this video, I think you'd absolutely love the related how-to videos we've suggested by my fellow data schooler. Click on the thumbnail on the bottom right to watch it next. Subscribe to the channel to get notified when we release new videos. Thank you for watching.